Hi everybody, my name is Markiplier. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a liquid chrome effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Sony Vegas open up right now and I have my example of the fast flicker effect I showed you the other day. And if you didn't tell already, the person at the start of the video was PewDiePie on a green screen and we're going to be using that again. So if you do own a green screen, a blue screen or even a black screen, you can put yourself using this effect. So what's I done? I played a bit of the video. And then from here, I press S on my keyboard, make sure this is set to best and full, took a screenshot, saved it to my desktop, and now if we move this right one to the side, and drag on the image, and just extend it, now we've created a freeze frame, so... And this is where PewDiePie is going to come on screen, just like he's sort of interrupting the video. So we're going to drag and drop on PewDiePie on top, or your green screen, and I believe at 4... 08 is when he does the Markiplier impression. Hi everybody, my name is Markiplier. There we go, so we're just going to split it by pressing S on our keyboard and delete the remaining. So now we're just going to drag it to here and just sync it up. So just make sure it starts as soon as we took that screenshot and end it on the right time as well. So there we go, so now it's in place. And as you can see, it's going to show the bit of the fast flicker. PewDiePie is going to come on screen, but we can't see our actual video underneath just yet. So to do this, the first thing you're going to do is head over to compositing mode and you're going to change it to custom. This is what you're going to be presented with. And from here, you want to select Sony height map. So just select it. And this is now what you should get. As you can see, it has made our video very weird, but we will be fixing it. So if you come over to the source channel, you can see there's intensity, but you can also mess with the red, green and blue if you would like to. And now we need to shape out PewDiePie. And this is mainly through the smoothness. So if we bring this down, you can see we've started to get PewDiePie. I think two will be the best because it shows more of an outline of him. You want to make sure invert source data is checked. Same with alpha channel scales, RGB channels. You want to change the edge pixel handling to wrap pixels. Now you've got to change the amplitude and the elevation. So this one you can't really copy me because it depends on your green screen and it depends how you want it to be shown. So you can see if I bring it down, it basically should show more of the features. So you really have to just mess with it yourself. Um, for me, I'm not going to go too heavy. So I'm going to stay about there. The elevation as you'll see, this is what it does. Uh, again, don't need to go too high for this, I'm going to probably stay around here. And then the height scale, you don't need to change. Now if you're going to be using this type of effect all the time on the same green screen, then you can come over to preset and you can call this uh, liquid. Now the reason why I say the same green screen is because not every green screen is going to have the same settings. So from there you can X out of it and we're done. So if I just turn this down and we play it through, this is what we're going to get. Hi everybody, my name is Markiplier. As you'll see, just like that is very simple to do. We've just created a liquid chrome effect in Sony Vegas. So that's it for this video. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.